Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we're going to see DSCP Relay Agent Configuration in Cisco Packet Tracer using IP helper address. So what we're going to see here is that how a DSCP server on one network can provide IP address to the PCs on another network using IP helper address. So for that, what I'll do is I'll take a router, uh, a switch, couple of end device, a PC and a laptop and a server and I'll quickly connect those a router to the switch, switch to the PC, switch to the laptop and router to the server. Now here are the interfaces, two interfaces of the router and as you know that each interface of a router is a different network. So this server is going to be our DSCP server and these two PCs will be the clients for this server. Fine. So this particular DSCP server will, will be in a different network and this end devices, this PC and the laptop will be in the different network and we will see that how DSCP server which is on one network can provide IP address to the to this end devices on the other network. So, what I will do is uh, I'll keep this particular segment as 10.1.1.1 slash 24 and this particular segment has 20.1.1.1 slash 24. For a DSCP server, let's say we will give an IP address 20.1.1.2. Uh, let's say 2. Okay. So, this will be IP address of our DSCP server. So, I'll quickly configure this DSCP server first of all. So, I will go into this desktop and first of all, I'll give the IP address to this DSCP server. So, the IP address which we decided was 20.1.1.2 and the subnet marks is 255.255.255.0 because we have, we are, we are taking slash 24. The default gateway will be 20.1.1.1. Now, we have to configure the services over here. So, what I'll do is I'll go into this particular uh, services tab under here DSCP. I'll on the DSCP services and basically we wanted to configure it for this 10 network because we are expecting that this PC and the laptop should get the IP address from this from this particular subnet which starts from 10.1.1.1 slash 24. So, the default gateway for those end devices should be 10.1.1.1 which is the interface of the router uh, DNS server you can keep it like 8.8.8.8 the starting IP address for the PCs I want it to be like 10.1.1. let's say it should start from 2 and the subnet marks it is taken like uh, slash 24 itself okay so I want maximum users to be like let's say uh, 512 is there so let's say I want only 100 Okay, so maximum users can be here, 100. I'll save this. Okay, so here are the details. It is saved it. Now I will do other stuff. Now we'll configure this router. So I'll go into this CLI and I'll say no. And uh, here I have to configure these two interfaces. So firstly, I'll configure this interface. Uh, interface gig uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0 and IP address as 10.1.1.1.255.255.255.0 and I'll do no shut okay so now again I have to configure the other interface which is uh, which is interface gig uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 and uh, the IP address has 20.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 and I'll do no shut. So I have configured these two interfaces. Now let's see what happens. Let's see whether these PCs are now getting the IP addresses or not. I'll go into command prompt. I checked it didn't, it was not having any IP address, but I will again check it. Like see here it is not getting any any IP address. Okay. So 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 let's let's use the DSCP now. Okay. So I'll go here. 
in this IP config and I'll try to get it from DSCP. Now we'll check. It is requesting for IP address and DSCP is failed. A PIPA uh, is being used because whenever the DSCP fails, it gets an address from a PIPA. Which is which is like 169.254. It starts with that, so it has got an APIPA IP. So that is not what is expected. Now, why the PC is not getting the IP address? The simple reason is that the DSCP server is in the different network. Okay, and uh, you know if it was in the same network as we saw in the last video, uh, it might have got the IP address. Okay, but here it is not getting the IP address. So what we have to do is we have to configure this particular router as relay agent this this will work as as a relay agent okay so i'll go into this router okay now where are the clients connected so the clients are connected with this interface kick 000 okay so this is basically where our clients are connected and the dscp server is connected on gig 001 so our clients wherever our clients are connected there we have to configure ip helper so we'll configure there. So our clients are connected on this interface. Interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay. So here I will configure this command IP helper address. Okay. Followed by the IP destination address. Now this will be the DSCP server IP address. Now DSCP server is 20.1.1.2. So I'll configure it. 20.1.1.2 that's it so basically what i am doing is clients are getting connected on that particular interface we are we are saying that you know the ip helper address will be this or uh, 20.1.1.2 that is we're saying that anything any request which is coming for dscp address should be routed to this particular ip 20.1.1.2 uh, so it is acting as an relay agent this router okay now We'll go into this PC and we will now check. Currently, it is not having any, like it is getting an APIP IP. Again, I clicked on the static and now I'll try it for DSCP again. Now you see. Okay, now it has got the DSCP request is successful. It has got the IP address. Again, all these details are filled, the subnet marks, the default gateway, the DNS server, all what we filled in the DSCP server. Okay, so let us check over here as well. Earlier, it was not getting it. Now you can check it is getting the IP address. Let's do it for the laptop also. I'll go into desktop, IP DSCP. Okay. So yes, it has got 10.1.1.3. And the PC got 10.1.1.2. Let's ping the PC from the laptop. 10.1.1.2. And here it is. We are able to ping the PC in the laptop. Uh, the PC from the laptop. So guys, this is this is what... It is so easy concept of, of DSCP relay agent. Um, it's very, very, I, I made this a simple topology just for the understanding so that, you know, the, the concept of a DSCP relay, relay agent uh, will, will be clear to all my subscribers. So, guys, I'll stop here in this video. I'll catch up in the next video. Till then, bye, thanks, and have a nice day. Thank you.